Good morning. Today is March 18th. It is Wednesday, and today we are going to read a story. Lucy is here with me. We are going to read a story about opposites and animals. We're going to continue our unit on animals, but we're going to talk a little bit about anonyms today. So our book is called Big Bear, Small Mouth, and it is by Karma Wilson and Jane Chapman. Mouse hops on to bear. Bear is careful not to fall. Big, big bear. Mouse is small, small, small. Small mouse, big bear. So there's our big bear, there's our small mouse. Big and small are what we call anonyms. They mean different things. They don't mean the same. Small is big. And big is big, giant, enormous. So they're anonyms. So listen for the anonyms as I read. Bear and mouse both wave to their friends as they go past. Badger moseys slowly, but hair runs very fast. Slow badger, fast hair. Big bear, small mouse, big bear. What's that up above? There's a flutter in the sky. Wren is flying low while owl is soaring high. Look at that. Who makes that, that rrr sound? You are right, the W-R. And look at that word right there. It's a vowel R word. I know these might be backwards to you, but I hope they're not. There's a clatter in the glen. High owl, low wren, slow badger, fast hair. Small mouse, big bear. Mole and gopher tunnel up and join the happy crowd. The sun sets on the quiet wood. But all the friends are loud. Quiet woods, loud friends, high owl, low rent, slow badger, fast hair, small mouse, big bear. Raven flies down from the sky. Look, here comes a storm. Outside is getting wet and cold. But the lair inside is nice and warm. All together they gather. Cold night, warm lair, quiet woods, loud friends, high owl, low wren, slow badger, fast hair, small mouse. Small mouse, big Big bear. So, today, when you're writing about your topic, which I'm about to give you, I want you to think of some opposites. Think of ways to describe your um, animal, because we've been working on informative writing. So, we're going to write in a, a writing that informs about either your favorite animal or your pet. But think of some opposites that you could use in there. Like, you could say, I could say, my new puppy is fast, but my old dog was slow. So think of some opposites you could use while you describe um, your writing. And I want your writing to inform us about something and tell us things about it so that we know just as much about your animal as you know. And so that's what we're working on in our writing. So tell me either about your pet or your favorite animal if you don't have a pet. And I hope you are having a good time at home. This has been such a different experience, um, but it's been fun to get to look into your life and to get a little peek into mine at home because we don't always get to see that when we're at school all the time. So I miss you and I hope to see you after spring break. Love y'all. Love y'all. Lucy does too.